North Ark, book by Yesborn. Long, long ago, the world was a dark and dangerous place. Some people stole and cheated, others fought in wars. The hills rang with sums and grunts and clanks of swords. Only Noah and his family were good. They toiled all day on their, fa their farm, digging the earth and sowing seeds. It was hard work, but they had never grumbled. One day, as Noah strolled home, a glittering golden light beamed from the sky. It prickled his beard and tickled his skin. It must be God, Noah thought. A deep voice boomed through the clouds. Noah, God said, soon I will flood the earth to wash all the bad people away. You must build an ark to save your family. Take two of every animal with you. Weeks later, the mighty ark was finished. All aboard, hollered Noah. The ark started to shudder. The ground began to shake. Hundreds of animals charged onto the ark, snorting and snarling and hooting and honking. Two by two, the animals came. Eagles swooped from the sky. Horses galloped and stamped, and snakes lizard and hissed. The monkeys clambered onto the roof, the elephants squeezed into the middle, and the giraffe's heads poked over the side. And then the rain began to fall. At first, the raindrops fell in drips and drops. Then they fell in splashes and splashes. Kaboom! Crash! A storm began. Thunder roared and lightning flashed. Heavy rain drummed onto the roof of the ark. It rained and rained and rained. For 40 days and 40 nights it rained, flooding the walls and drowning the highest mountains. The ark swayed and cracked on the rolling waves. The world was covered in one huge swirling sea. At last, golden sunshine shone through the clouds. Noah looked out. There must be dry land somewhere, Noah thought. So he sent a raven to look. The bird swooped up high and swept down low but all it saw was white, empty sea. The next day, Noah sent a dove. The dove flew for days and days, and then flapped back to the ark. In its beak was a little leaf from an olive tree. Aha! Noah exclaimed. There must be trees growing somewhere. He looked out from the ark, searching for land. Waves rippled and the sunlight shimmered on the water. And then, land ahoy, cried Noah. The top of the mountain poked above the sea. The water sank lower and lower, until the ark shuddered to a stop. Noah flung open the doors, and the animals burst out of the ark. They charged and hopped and slithered and soared, spreading out to find new homes. And Snow left the ark, a beautiful rainbow spread across the bright blue sky. That sign is my promise, God said. I will never flood the world again. Thank you for your attention.